Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some work in progress updates for Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. I know I've said it so many times before, but it just seems like every day this emulator is getting so much better and better, either performance or game compatibility wise. This video is going to be covering the former game performance. So the game you're currently watching is Deskaya 5 and as you can clearly see it is struggling quite a bit for performance especially when we're in this Nexus world area. When we do eventually load in due to the slow loading times and low frame rates you will also see that all of the sprites on all of the in-game world characters are completely broken and not rendered correctly at all. Due to all of these issues this title on this emulator is not even slightly playable at all. Let's now quickly swap over to a work in progress build of Ryujinx and see how this game is performing there. So in this work in progress build you can already see that there has been a significant performance uplift, the game no longer struggles for performance and we no longer need to skip through these cut sequences in order to progress into gameplay. If anything it is actually running the game a bit too fast in some circumstances. Now while you can see that there are some performance issues when attacks such as those ones occur, knowing the developers of this emulator I would not be surprised if those issues were fixed tomorrow. When we skip forward into some actual gameplay, you can see that instead of getting the 1, 2 and 3 FPS that we were previously getting, we are now getting between 25 and 30 FPS in any given situation. We can also see that all of the character sprites are now correctly rendered and not completely missing like they were in our previous circumstance. We also need to remember that this Nexus world area is one of the most demanding performance areas in the entire game. When we skip on forward into some actual battle gameplay, you can see that our performance levels are much better in this situation. So if you've been watching my coverage of reusing this Switch emulator for the past few weeks, you would have also seen that its very first 3D rendered game has also booted. This title, One Piece Unlimited World Red, while it does render 3D, its graphical output is completely messed up and as is also very apparent, its performance levels are very very poor indeed. You can see that when we pan our camera around in this scene, we are getting anywhere between 4 and 5 FPS when looking towards this town, and when we look back towards our ship out towards the dock, we are getting in and around 15, 16 and sometimes near to 20 FPS. Now let's swap over to this work in progress build and you can see that we are getting almost a locked 30 FPS in this area, and when we look back towards the town, you can see that instead of getting 3, 4 and 5 FPS, we are now getting anywhere between 15 and 25. This performance uplift means that even though we have completely broken graphics, we are now able to navigate the game world. It is not even just the games I have shown in this video so far that have seen a performance increase, practically every other game on this emulator has now seen a performance uplift using this work in progress build. For example, let's take a look at another game title that previously struggled so much for performance that it was completely unplayable. So don't even mind gameplay, this is the menu performance that we were previously seeing in SteamWorld Dig 2. When we transition over to this work in progress build, you can see that we're now getting over 400 FPS, so a 100 times performance increase in this title. But wait, that's not all, when we transition over into some gameplay, you can see that in the previous build this game was struggling to maintain 3 and 4 FPS. In this new work in progress build, we are getting well over 200 FPS and all of our in-game menus are now completely functional with all of the scaling issues from previous builds now fixed. If you guys want to help with the development of this emulator, you can find a link to its Patreon down in the description of this video. All donations from that Patreon will actively go towards the development of this Nintendo Switch emulator. So if you liked this video guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below, dislike the video if you didn't, leave a comment down below if there are any other games you would like to see me cover, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.